Hi guys, it's Said here. Today's tutorial is about cheaters. So yeah, I just decided to show you some tricks about this subject. But, you know, before we start, I'm not showing you this for you to be cheaters yourself. I'm gonna show you this for you to catch them rather. Alright, so let's get started. In fact, we can cheat in dialogues by changing some parameters and when editing the documentation, we also can cheat after exporting the report, which I think is the worst. The fraud concerns illuminance and that happens by increasing maintenance factor on here, reflection factor here, and by lowering the luminaires. Let's take this office as an example for our video tutorial. And the office and European standards requires 500 lux in the working plane. This is the target on here. But we have 278 lux now. Let's just increase the maintenance factor and see its impact on the luminance. Now we have 0 0.8. Let's make it one. Enter. Let's calculate the entire project. Well, this is our new result. The same luminaires, the same room, everything is the same, but we changed the maintenance factor and as you can see there is a huge jump in the illuminance. Without an indication from your client, I think it's more reasonable to use the default reflection factors of dialogues, which are Let's make all of them 90%, okay? Alright, now let's just start our calculations again. Wow, 708 lakhs just by increasing the reflection factors. Now, let's lower the luminaires. But some of you are just gonna be like, wait, why are you gonna do that? And everybody's gonna know if you do so. Well, it's not true because I can lower the luminaires or maybe before even lowering the luminaires I can take some photos or maybe some ray tracings and then lower the luminaires and go to the documentation. Let's just lower the luminaires now. You can lower them as much as you want. Actually, more you lower them, more the illuminance increases. With all that done, let's now move to the documentation part. Well, on here, we can hide things we don't want our competitors or maybe clients to see. For example, luminaire layout plan, or maybe some other stuff on, for example, on room summary. We can maybe hide furniture, luminaires, blah blah blah, etc. You can just provide or hide things you want in your report, okay? We also can give some 
views. Let's just go to the project cover. We're gonna provide this. Let's configure the page. Now we're gonna add this ray tracing we have taken before we made the changes. Let's add it. This is our project cover. You can add everything on here. You also can add some views. Let's just like take a look at this. You can add everything. Let's add this wolf, for example. Actually, we can import any photo to our report. Let's just go to File, Import, Image File, and now you import my photo. And then go here and then add it. And yes, here I am. <laughs> well, you can add room summary, but the problem is that we have reflection factors and maintenance factor, which we have changed, but we're gonna make them sound normal after we export this report, okay? Now, you have an idea that we can cheat in dialogues. Let's export our report and see the changes we can make on it again. When here, it says the software to use to open it. I say Nitro PDF, which is a software that modifies PDFs. Actually, you can use it in a good way, for example, like just editing the photo and making it a bit bigger. As I told you, we have a little problem on here. We need to make them sound a bit normal. So you just go and edit them. For example, we on here, we have 90. We need to make it, for example, I don't know, 60. On here, you just click and make it, for example, 39. On here, let's make it 20. Maintenance factor, make it 0 0.8. All right. You can change a lot of things on here. I know, I sounded like I really wanted it to be cheaters. Hell no, I just wanted you to know like the steps of cheating, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to catch a cheater. You just take a random room in your project, you do the same in dialogues, using the same luminaires layout, the same height, the same reflection factors, the same maintenance factor, and see if it gives you the same illuminance. That's the efficient way if you want to catch cheaters. Alright guys, I hope you learned something in this video tutorial. And yeah, please let me know if there are other ways to catch cheaters.